Okay, today I'm out here with my 24-inch uh, 223 one and eight twist. I'm shooting at 1,790 yards, which is one mile plus 30 yards. I'll be shooting a 88 grain ELD bullet. I have a uh, cheap BSA scope on here, 30 millimeter tube. It's sitting on Burr signature rings and I have it tilted forward as far as I can tilt it forward to maximize the adjustment on the scope. I currently have the scope cranked up all the way and then I have to hold over anywhere from a mil to two and a half mils. This is a milliradian scope, so that's what I'm referring to with mils. So when you hear me talking about the uh, one mil, mil and a half, two mils, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, it's a front focal plane scope and it has mill bars. Uh, the targets, the left target is uh, 12 inches wide by 18 tall, it's a knockdown. The right target, 12 inches wide, 18 tall, it's a knockdown. And the center target is a full size steel silhouette plate. And uh, if I hit it, most likely you can hear the ring. Okay, real quick, while I was uh, setting up, my buddy called, I put him on speakerphone, I got done setting up. I decided because it's a new setup with a scope, I need to figure out what my elevation is there at 100 at a mile. So I sent the rounds down there. And on the fifth round, while I was figuring that out, I actually hit the target. I heard the ring. But what I did is, is because he's talking politics, all you're going to get is the sound of the shot. And then I mute the sound, his talking or all talking, both of us. And then every time I shoot for those first five rounds, then you'll hear me what happens at that point. And then I think... Uh, what he did is he, he decided, okay, you're shooting, I'll let you go. So he la he, we hung up, and my next round, I thought I saw something in the scope. I thought I saw a hit splash, but I turned my head, and I never heard anything. A couple, three rounds later, you'll see me do the same thing. I'll turn my head, and I won't hear anything at that time either. But what I'm trying to do is turn the mic towards the sound of the target so I can hear it when it comes back. And... Uh, what happens is on that steel target where the hanger is at, the closer you get to the hanger, the less noise the uh, hit makes or the, you know, won't ring as loud. And since I'm shooting 223 88 grain bullets, they're arriving on target at about 1,000 feet a second. So that hit, there's that third hit that I can't account for is three or four inches below the hanger. And that's probably why I didn't hear it. I mean, the first shot after he hung up, or it was a couple shots later, but there's three hits on that, and then I went after the knockdown targets. Enjoy the shooting portion of the video. I hit the steel and you're talking oh. at a mile with my 223. I'm trying to, I'm going to make a, my plan is here to make a 223 video. And I just rang the damn steel while you're talking. That was two and a half. I don't know if I saw something or not, but I definitely did not hear anything. Oh, that was definitely high. I have no clue where it went. Left edge, one and a half. Wow, that was close. We gave it a little extra right. That breeze picked up. No clue.
clearly going after the left one. Okay, same hole, two and a half. Ooh. That better be in front of it. this one be right. Doggone it, I moved over to the right. Left edge hold again. Down goes Frazier! Booyah! Booyah! Oh, I got two rounds left <laughs> to go after the right one. I expected it to be in front. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh man, so close. Oh. Anyway. Well, oh, that was my go with my 223 today. One mile plus 30 yards. Having a couple issues, but not doing bad.